was something I've been thinking about since I did the alternator belt. Although it's a lot easier than the 2005 model onward to you know how to do it. There is two immense difficulties while doing it on these bikes. First of all, you've got to get in behind all this cabling and find a torque screw behind here that you can't actually see. So that, that's not easy, you've got to take your tank off and everything. So that's one massive problem. The most significant one I found is that you have to take the belt up to 8 newton meters anti-clockwise. How do you do it anti-clockwise when every torque wrench nowadays has a reverse on it, which I thought was that easy. Put your torque wrench into a reverse, but none of them register the torque when you're doing it anti-clockwise. They only register the torque when you're doing it clockwise, except for the old torque wrenches. Now here is an old torque wrench that I have, and the head reverses when you want to go anti-clockwise. And it works perfectly. That's what I used when I showed you how to do the alternator belt. However, this torque wrench doesn't go down to 8 newton meters. I, I got it there by comparing it in a very unmathematical way and I think I got it right, but it's worried me. And I thought, well, there must be a better way. I looked everywhere for a torque wrench that would work in reverse. I even ordered one from eBay because it said that it definitely worked in reverse. No, it doesn't. It turns in reverse, but it doesn't register the torque. Secondly, you've got to find a torque wrench that will do 8 newton meters, not 10, not 15, 8 newton meters. My Tang Tools quarter-inch torque wrench goes from, let me just check, I think it goes, yes, it goes from 5, it goes from 5 newton meters, you'll not see it on there. It goes from 5 newton meters to 25. Now it's hard to get one. There's some bike bicycle ones that are very expensive. So you're looking for a torque wrench that will do 8 newton meters and work anti-clockwise. I can't find one. But looking through changing the alternator belt, I found a BMW one that says there's a special tool that you can do, do the torque from the front. But that was years ago, and I can't find anybody who does the tool now. Therefore, I've made my own. I've got some stainless steel hex bar. I've put it in a lathe, and I've drilled an 8mm and threaded only to about 8mm deep to try it, so it is blind, so it'll lock on. I tried it with two nuts, which some people have done, but it's not very positive they start to spin. This is a blind screw. This I imagine, although I've got no idea, is what the BMW tool must have been like when you could buy it. So the first thing to do is to take off, so I've slackened it all off. The alternator belt is loose, so I take off the bolt. I then screw in, I screw in my new found bolt, 13 millimeter, but what I've got to do is stop it, just hold the bolt, there it is, at 8 newton meters on a normal torque wrench. Just hold it there with a 13 millimeter spanner. I've got to reach across to one of the locking nuts because I can't use this one now. You could do with somebody else here doing this. Now I can remove this. How easy is that? Don't need to take your tank off. I don't think so. I don't know why you would have to. That's a little tool I'm going to put in my special BMW drawer to be used probably but once a year. 
now the original bolt, the nut and the washer go back on there and I've got to tighten them up to the correct torque. It is 20 newton meters for the bolts. I'll just go around the other side and tighten that one. You can do the two, one there, one there, and the top one you just need to do as tight as you can because you can't get a torque wrench up. What a better way of adjusting your alternator belt to exactly 8 newton meters. It wouldn't be a problem to take it off at any time and just check it.